Canva just released the six new animations that will make your videos and presentations even more fun and creative. Let's discover them together. Before I show you how to find these animations, I need to mention something very important. And it is that these new animations are only available on the following document types. Presentations, social media, and video. To be able to access these animations, you need to be in the editor. I am here on the editor and I am working on a presentation document type. Now, something else that is pretty important is that these animations will only work on videos and images. So I am working now with a video and in the background behind the video, I have a gradient. So this is important if you want to get the same outcome as I'm going to show you. So I'm selecting the video and now I'm going to click on animate. Here you'll find the six new animations. These are under the featured category and these are the six new animations. But we are going to go in detail because there are more than these animations that I'm showing you on the screen right now. Now, let me click on the first animation that we see here, brush. And when you click on the animation, you will see that you can apply this animation on both. So you will see it at the beginning, but also at at the end of your video, you can apply it only on enter or on exit. These six new animations are completely free to use, but if you want to change the style, you will need to have a Canva Pro account. You will see below animate style. This one has the little crown that tell us that this is available only for Canva Pro users. Now in here we see the default style, which is curve, but you also have wild. You see that the strokes of the brushes changes. We have deep. And then we have swirl. I have a Canva Pro account, so I'm gonna change the style and I'm gonna apply this animation on both. So both enter and exit. Now let me play my video. You will see the animation at the beginning of the video and at the end. Now let me show you how the other animations look. So let's go back to the animate window. And from here, I'm gonna show you first ink. Zip is the animation we see by default. The animation is coming upwards. Then we have flow. This one is moving to the left. Bloom, it's coming from the middle of the image. And then we have splotch. Now let's discover digital. The style by default is coming from the center. Then we have linear, which is moving to the right and scatter. Now let's move to the fourth animation, which is spray painting. On this animation, we only have two different styles. The first one being messy, the default one, and then we have letters. Now let's see sketch. On this one, we have four different styles. The first one being fill. Then we have swipe, scratch, and then we have squiggle, which is one of my favorite new animations. And lastly, let me show you gradient. On this one, we have three different animations. So circular, blocks, and lines. Out of these six new animations, I feel Gradient is the one that has more of this corporate feeling to it. And I would like to know which of all of these animations is your favorite. And now let me show you how to edit this creative animation right here. So let me create a new page where I'm going to replicate this animation that we see on page one. I'm going to add the same gradient in the background. So I'm just copy and pasting this gradient. And now let me add the product image. I'm going to round the corners quite quickly just to add a little style to it. Now I'm going to duplicate this image. So you see we have two images now. I'm going to select the one that is going to stay in the background and I'm going to edit to add a duotone effect to it so let me scroll down selecting this one having the image on top selected go to animate and now you can select any of these six animations i'm going for sketch and then i'm selecting the style scratch and this is how this animation starts to look if you want you can leave it like this or you can add text on top 
Let me know what do you think about this creative use of this animation. And just coming back to the three simple examples I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial, we have here these three photos and these are pretty simple to create as I already showed you. On this one I'm using a gradient in the background and because on this image I'm showing street art I believe spray painting is the animation that will look better on this one. So having the gradient in the background and having the animation I believe we have some cohesion there and then on this second image I have the image covering the entire page but I have this color in the background and then to this image because this one looks quite elegant I applied a gradient animation and then on the last image as the image is quite dark I believe the ink animation would look better on it. To learn more about Canva we have a Canva master course I'm gonna leave the link here on the screen but also in the description of the video and I'm also leaving here a tutorial I'm sure you are going to love. I think this is it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!